Magandang buhay mga bata. Tara, samahanin niyo ako matutok kasama si Teacher Aika, your online teacher. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, share, and hit the notification bell for more videos. Thank you! Revised K-12 Curriculum Science, Grade 3 Quarter 1, Lesson 2, Day 1 Our topic for today is about Simple science activities that involve the use of non-standard measurement. This is Teacher Aika, your online teacher. Let's start! Learning competencies. Describe the uses of various science equipment and materials used in simple activities, such as a ruler, hand lens, scissors, balloons, modeling clay, and cardboard. Learning objectives. First, engage in simple science activities that involve the use of non-standard measurement. And second, describe the uses of various science equipment and materials such as ruler, hand lens, scissors, and cardboard in simple science activities. Let's start with this activity. Bring to the front sample objects described as big or small, soft or hard, smooth or rough. What parts of your body did you use to see or feel things? What other part of your body do you use to describe objects or things around you? Recall that in the previous lessons, they use their senses to describe objects and things. In this lesson, you will practice using your senses and some common materials to learn more about your body and how unique it is. This activity will help you learn about measurement and how to measure length. This will also help develop your skills in using common science equipment and materials, as well as in comparing observations and data with others. The word unique means being the only one of its kind or unlike anything else. A hand span is measured from the tip of the thumb to the tip of the small finger with the hand open as wide as possible. A ruler is used to measure length. It is also used to draw a straight line. A scissors is used to cut cloth, paper, cardboard, and other thin materials. A hand lens is a piece of curved glass that makes objects look larger than they are. Which part of your body do you think makes you unique? Look at your hands, your fingers, and your thumbs. 
Our bodies come in different sizes and unique characteristics. In the previous lessons, you used your senses to describe the things around you. In this lesson, you will explore other parts of your body and see how they make you unique. You will also use some materials to help you observe more closely. Here are the materials that we need for this lesson. Pencil, paper, cardboard, clear tape, hand lens, ruler, string, scissors. Procedure Part A, My Fingerprint. Number one, rub the pencil on a piece of paper to make an ink pad. Number two, gently rub your thumb over the ink pad. Move your finger around so that the black powder from the pencil gets on most of the fingertip. Number three, Ask a classmate to pull off a piece of clear tape about the length of your thumb. Cut the tape with a scissor. Remember to be very careful in using a scissor. Number 4. Have your classmate gently place the tape over your thumb to transfer the mark. Number five, lift your finger off the tape and place the tape with your thumb mark on the cardboard. Look closely at your fingerprint with a hand lens. Look at the lines in a whirl pattern. Use a hand lens to use the lines more clearly. Can you describe these lines? Loop, whirl, and arch. How is a whirl different from a loop? Answer, a loop curves or bends but does not form a circle like a whirl. How is an arch different from a loop? Answer, an arch looks like a wave but not too curved like a loop. You will now compare your thumbprint with the diagram provided. Check if your fingerprint is a loop, whirl, or arch. After that, Kindly answer the guide questions in your science notebooks. With your hand lens, look more closely at your thumb mark. Do you see any pattern in your fingerprint? Look for classmates whose fingerprints are loops. Write two names. Look for classmates whose fingerprints are whirls. Write two names. Look for classmates whose fingerprints are arches. Write two names. Procedure Part B, My Hand Span Number 1 Place your hand over a paper and spread your fingers wide. Number two, with a pencil, trace your open hand on the paper. Number three, with a ruler, draw a straight line on your traced hand from the tip of the thumb to the tip 
of the little finger. This is your hand span. Use your hand span to measure the length of your arm, from your armpit to your wrist. How many hand spans is your arm length? Next, use your hand span to measure the length of your leg from your hip to your heel. How many hand spans is the length of your leg? What other parts of your body can help you measure length? What objects can help you measure length? Which of the materials we used in the activity help you observe your fingerprint more closely? Answer Hand lens How did the hand lens help you in observing your thumb mark? Answer, the hand lens made the fingerprint patterns look larger than they are, which helps in identifying and classifying fingerprints into a loop, a whirl, or an arch. What other materials help you complete the task? Answer, pencil, tape, paper, scissors, ruler. How did these materials help you with the task? Answer, pencil, tape, and paper help copy and make the thumbprint visible. Scissors used to cut the tape. Ruler used to draw a straight line in the handprint. What if you ask your other classmates to measure your arm length with their hand span? Do you think they would get the same number of hand spans as you did? Answer depends on their hand span. What tools can be used to measure length? Answer ruler, tape measure, meter stick. Why is a ruler a better option in measuring length than a handspan? Answer, a ruler is better than a handspan because it gives exact and same measurements for everyone. What tools can be used to measure length? Answer, a ruler helps make accurate measurements. What science equipment and materials can be used in doing science? Answer, hand lens, ruler, scissors, cardboard, pencil, paper, etc. Describe how you use the following science equipment and materials during the activity. Answer, I used the ruler to measure the length of objects, the magnifying glass, 
to see small details and the beaker to hold and pour liquids carefully. Ruler Ruler measures length, draws a straight line. Hand lens Used to observe very small things, make tiny objects look larger than they are. Scissors Used to cut thin objects like cloth and paper. Read each item carefully. Write the letter of the best answer in your science notebook. Number 1. Which of the following can be used to observe closely tiny creatures like ants and plants parts like pollen or flower petals? A. Hand lens B. Hand span C. Kitchen tongs or D. Toothpicks Answer A. Hand lens Number 2. You want to find out how tall your chair is. Which of the following will help you best? A. Crayons B. Hand span C. Paper clips or D. Scissors Answer B. Hand span Number 3. You want to find out how far the teacher's table is from the door. Which of the following will help you best? A. Book B. Pencil C. Ruler or D. String Answer C. Ruler Number 4. Why is it important to try different shapes in creating your floating clay? A. To practice handling a modeling clay. B. To create the best shape that stays afloat. C. To make sure that it can hold one paper clip. Or D. To know which shapes of clay will sink immediately. Answer, letter B, to create the best shape that stays afloat. Number 5, which of the following parts of your body is unique? A, your arm length. B, length of your leg. C, your thumb print. Or D, your hand span. Answer, C, your thumbprint. Answer the following question in your science notebook. Think about how you and your classmates helped each other in this activity. How does working together with a classmate make the task easier? And that wraps up today's lesson. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more content like this, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and ring the bell so you never miss an update. Thanks for tuning in.